Spoken Word Poetry Slam on Society. In a trophy town with urban amenities and conveniences abound, a lake sits where status symbols plummet without a sound. Littered with hood ornaments that carry more weight than the car, and a siren printed on coffee sleeves originally meant for good luck for a ship as they travel far. Shiny new toys line the bottom that are embroidered with the fruit from the tree of knowledge, assist in privilege of harvesting an often unfruitful college. The latest desirable supercomputer rectangles go half devoured and litter the bottom of the lake as utility was fleeting like when self-esteem wears off and you start to feel fake from an ego beating. The lake does not run off from the fountain of youth, so see the reflection in the ripples from the lake and reflect on your own truth. Why does it feel like we can't have what is free? Dreams slip through our fingers like a dying plea. The elusive obvious taunts us to say we can't have peace now. So we work to find something else to fill the void somehow. The go-getters can chase their carrots because I will plant my own. I'll just dangle my confidence and smile until they covet what I've sown. Being first is more important than being true. And an owl is an owl if it feels right to you. We find honesty and integrity are in short supply. With personal narrative, desperation, and attention having us building on a foundation of lies. Reflecting on even the most painful truths could allow us to empathize and rise. So let's step back and remember our first goal was just to survive and then we can drop out and reprioritize to feed the native wiring that can make us all thrive. We make kings and queens out of people who live our own dreams and superstars whom do the grand and impossible, or so it seems. We idealize talents and idolize the staged personality without questioning how they made their fame or even if their character is true to reality. What realized dreams could we create from teams that support us, from which we steal credit and transfer equity to our brand that further distorts us? Why do we respect celebrities with catchy monikers, money, and fame? Because at the end of the day, happiness is relative, and we are all just the same. Rooting for my temporarily local 20-year-olds versus your temporarily local 20-year-olds inspires passion 
and pride but it can also allow your local sports franchise to profit and hide. Unbelievable markups for merchandise and tickets you can't afford. And the wealthy owners and players need to be reminded to act like the fans are also a door. Remember that your team fought to have your city finance a new stadium or threaten to leave? The fans were played as the pawns. Your tax money allowed the deal to finally be achieved. There is nothing wrong with being a fan. I'd be a hypocrite if I tried to make that case. But don't stop believing and rooting for yourself while watching others win first place. Don't be sorry without sorrow as you're speaking honestly with hyperbole about tomorrow, holding your hand to your heart as you wallow, making statements that sound like questions so an angry response cannot follow. It's not about being part of a side that you're choosing and standing up when you're losing but when winning, you're detail cruising because your narrative is an infusion of emotions backed by confusion. Can we no longer agree on some form of truth? Are we past a point of understanding and we need to look at reconciliation as a truce? Can we overcome our delusions of identity and institutions to band together to fight the powerful collusions. Our lives are so busy. There is so much stress but we find time to add additional duress. Entertainment through drama, horror, and suspense. Our chance to escape, and we choose to be tense. Are we wired to overcome and persevere? Even as we live in a year where all basic needs are increasingly near? Maybe we see contrast in our lives, pleasure and pain, light with the dark, to ignite that human survival spirit spark. A cabin sits upon a newly found lake in a state of freedom which is found behind every philosophical debate. A cold sunset comes with an oddly comforting reminder of inevitable fate in the feeling of frozen ground that can only be punctured with an honest stake seeking desperate refuge by warm fire that rejuvenates the soul. Fiery spirit extinguishes the bitter cold and prepares for what is about to unfold. <laughs> 